Hello, Tygo friends and fam. In this video, I'm going to cover the top installation errors that we see with regard to our RSS transmitter with pure signal technology that's used in our fire safety group products, the TS4F and the TS42F, and what you can do to prevent them. Let's go. So here's our TS4A-F. The dash 2F would just have two connection points for two different modules, whereas the TS4F connects to a single module. When installing the TS4F or 2F for rapid shutdown, you must also install an RSS transmitter. And we have two different types. We have the RSS transmitter and we have the RSS transmitter with pure signal technology. And when you look at both of them, there are some distinct differences. The major one is the number of terminals that are on the top. The RSS transmitter has three terminals. The RSS transmitter with pure signal technology has six terminals. So let's start on the bottom of the RSS transmitter. And from this point on, we will just assume I'm talking about the pure signal technology transmitter. The bottom of this transmitter looks exactly like its predecessor has the same two terminals with black and white terminals. And the pure signal transmitter also comes with the core, dual colored, black on one side, white on the other. The bottom terminals of the transmitter have a black and white terminal. You must ensure that the proper lead on the core goes into the right terminal on the bottom of the RSS transmitter. If you are using just a single core, and there are applications where you could put two cores on the bottom, but if you're using a single core, that core must be connected to the leftmost terminal on the bottom of the transmitter. And so one of the common installation errors that we see is the installer swaps the black and the white lead on the core and puts them in the wrong terminal on the bottom of the transmitter. Another common installation error is reversing the orientation of the core. So as I said earlier, we have a white side and a black side. The black side of the core, regardless of which type of transmitter you're using, must face the PV array. The black side must face the PV array. Okay, so now let's switch to the top terminals of the RSS transmitter with pure signal technology. So these are connected in a daisy chain. The transmission of one transmitter will go out and in to the next transmitter. And you can have up to 10 transmitters in one system. In other words, only 10 of these can be connected together. And the whole point to the PST or pure signal technology is that we can sync the keep alive signals that travel via power line communication onto the DC home runs, and thus we can eliminate the crosstalk issues. But the pure signal only works if all 10 of the transmitters are properly connected. And so one thing we see is that the wires are reversed in either of the transmit or receive terminal. So it's probably a good idea to use two different colors and so that you will be able to keep the wires separated. Now another issue that we see uh, concerns the power supply. Now each of these transmitters requires 12 volts and one amp. And what we see is that people think the power is also daisy chained from one transmitter to the next and that's just not true and so what happens the first transmitter gets one amp but then as you go down the daisy chain each one is getting significantly less current and therefore the rapid shutdown feature just doesn't work right all right so that's it for the rss transmitter with pure signal technology and in a follow-up video, I will have troubleshooting techniques in case you come on site and you're having issues with the transmitters. We're going to walk you through what to do. So be on the lookout for that video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us. We will be happy to help you. Thanks a lot.